volunteerism to personal development and social placement. We'll be covering what volunteerism is, why you should become an active volunteer, what are your rights being a volunteer, even when you volunteer, like they say, beggar get choice. Abby? Orientation camps to train. But what if 
if I didn't sell my stuff? What if I didn't volunteer? And what if I didn't sell my stuff? So it's one thing to volunteer, it's another thing for people to know that you volunteer in that regard and see the skills that you have and more doors can open up for you. Quite a number of persons benefit from volunteering. The organization you're volunteering for, the people you're volunteering to, the community, but most importantly, you are the one that benefits the most. So next time when you think volunteering, don't think, I bet, I bet you should be happy I'm going volunteering. Hello, you should be happy that you have the opportunity to get better, to learn a new skill, to meet new people, to understand people better. At the end of the day, you're going to be using it very, very soon. Then looking at volunteering and social placement. I also volunteered to start um, an online mentoring academy and I've graduated almost 200 ladies now. Sorry to the guys, I concentrated on ladies for that one, that particular program. Though I work with everybody, every uh, professional. And then, because of the consistency and back-to-back -back results that we're able to achieve, and of course, I always tell my story. I shout it out, online especially, because of the age and time we are in. I got the opportunity to become a brand ambassador of an amazing brand. And then, Another publishing firm that I worked with for my first book and my second book, I just loved their service. It was amazing. It was on point. They say you get your book today, you get it a day even before that today. They have never disappointed. So I just carry their matter on my head like, these people are amazing, these people are good. When you are good, people will sell you. Right? So I sold this um, printing firm consistently without any hidden agenda. I just loved their service and the book was immaculate and I had testimonials to prove. Now they will be celebrating four years in existence and next month I'll be officially unveiled as their brand ambassador. My flight to and fro has been booked already. That is part of the benefits of volunteering. That's why I said my life, my being here is all because of service to humanity. So when you think volunteering, you may not get the reward at that time. It may not even be in the next six months. Like, as in, I'm talking about a company that I worked with two years ago. It's now that they you know, went through their archives and they're like, this woman has carried up her matter on her head. She should be the first official brand ambassador that we are unveiling. And of course, you know, it's money in my bank account. You understand? So at the end of the day, guys, girls, if you're not voluntary, you're doing yourself a service. That's the truth. Then another opportunity you should harness when you volunteer is the fact that you're able to meet amazing individuals. Now, boss talked about all the beautiful marriages happening. I won't be surprised if another one happened in this uh, third batch. It can happen. Who knows? The soulmate might be sitting somewhere in the crowd. But you get to meet people that ordinarily you may not have been able to meet them. You get to connect with people. Now imagine the opportunity to conduct with amazing different pictures here. I have watched BBC CEO of Fiji and I saw your story, man. I was marveled. And then when I heard that she's not sitting by me, I was like, she only don't blow. <laughs> so at the end of the day, voluntary gives you the opportunity to meet people that you may not have met ordinarily. Or the protocol you will pass through, you shorten that journey. So when you think volunteering, guys, ladies, begin to think how it makes me become better. It is not selfish. It is you understanding your value. Because you are bringing value to the table. At every stage of your life, there is always a better step ahead. That is what you should recognize. So don't be comfortable in your comfort zone. Once you have hit it, this place, Ask yourself, what next? There's always a step or two further that you can go. And volunteering gives you the opportunity to go through that step. Some of the benefits of volunteering are leadership opportunities. Everybody seated here is a leader. Do you agree? Yes. Now, it is not only when you occupy a leadership position. So long as you 
can carry out the leadership responsibility, you are a leader. And the first leadership responsibility you carried out is to lead yourself here. So please give yourself a round of applause. You are a leader. So don't wait until they call you doctor, Mrs. Kinikon, coach, mentor, hello. When those offices fade out, when you step out, especially when it is time, when your tenure finish, will you still have that regard you had while in that office? You should boost the office. The office shouldn't be your identity. And there are some offices that you may not even know exist. Someone then occupies it and you're wondering, wow, so this office, they make sense like this. The office has always been there, but the individual made the difference. What difference will you be making in any leadership position you find yourself? That should think. And then it gives you an opportunity to be an influencer, positive influencer. Someone may just be waiting for you to stand up and do something and the person is like, if he can do it, if she can do it, I do not have an excuse. Will you be that kind of inspirator? Are you inspiring others? It gives you the opportunity to attract amazing personalities. Like they said, like begets like. By the time people see your work, see what you're doing, you will naturally attract amazing individuals to yourself. And then it gives you leverage through networking. Okay, for example, I said for my coaching programs, I charge so, so, so amount, but for every member of the third year network, if I'm going to work with you, you get it at 80% discount. You'll be like, wow, see opportunity. Because of the network. Because you are here. Same thing, it, could not be, it may not be a yard network, it may be another place, but once you position yourself as a person of value and you volunteer, opportunities will come. And then it gives you this prestige. Like, you're able to do something, you crush it, you have this confidence. Nothing they have to. So I could do this. You never know how far you can go. See you, you actually take a step. to volunteer at it, please start looking out. Start talking to people. In things, start asking yourself, what can we do? Like, right from this very moment, that's primarily why you're here. Right from now, before Sunday, begin to ask yourself, map out strategies, the same things we're going to do in the next six months, once we get back to our community. Make yourself proud, make the young network proud, and of course, make posterity proud. There are different ways you can volunteer, please. Mm -hmm. You can volunteer by training people, by providing your skills. I can make it very well. Provide it, teach people. Teach, right? Mentor people. Be the go-to person in your area. When you are looking for the best graphic designer, let your name come up. Even though you are volunteering, your time, your service, see how the right to something. Please, make sure when you volunteer, it's in a healthy and safe environment. Because you're doing it for free, doesn't mean you should swallow everything and anything. Let it be in an environment that aligns with your values. So that someone is not questioning your value tomorrow. Now, choosing where to volunteer will depend on what motivates you. I may call someone to volunteer in a peacekeeping, you know, outing, and the person is like, you don't concern me, concern me. That's not my problem. I'm looking for an entrepreneurship opportunity. I have skills I want to teach. So where and where you volunteer depends on what motivates you, the skills you have, the time you have available to you to spare, the organization, what they need, and the community what the community needs. By the time you put all this together, you will come to a consensus and find out, am I going to be valuable? I'll be, I'll be um, a liability to the team. So it's not by just being present physically. Let it be on record that I volunteer. No. It has to be about 
my usefulness and effectiveness in the team, even as I volunteer. So always ask yourself that question. At this point in time, what skills do I have to share? At this point in time, who needs it the most? And at this point in time, how much time do I have to spend? That will inform you on where and where to volunteer. So far, so good. I hope you've been able to see the benefits of being a volunteer and understand that it starts with you and ends with you. And it's really all about you. Any questions, please? I'm asking you personally. Was it a point before you started volunteering that you're going to monetize it later on? For every volunteering opportunity, like I said, it comes unpaid, but it pays at the end of the day. Because most of the skills I have now monetized, I learned it on volunteering platforms. And when you're speaking, you talked about uh, volunteering being a win win for. And I have a practical example. Like someone approached me just yesterday that he has a vision of doing something. And he felt looking around, I'm the best man to actually consult to actually join in in bringing this dream to life. Now, but the question now is what's the place of negotiation? Do I need to come about with now what do I start to gain? Because it's approaching me, sponsoring everything. But in this way to stay heavy, the main kind of orientation to people. Now, ordinarily, I don't intend to like, okay, pay me this. But like you said, it's a way we take it to come. Now, because it's been sponsored by someone, do I need to come to the table of negotiation or talking about pay, or I just maintain the free way I, I just be myself about it? Understanding that your experience, your expertise will play a very great role. Now, you want to ask yourself do I want to mentor this person or I want to coach this person? There's a place of social proof in social placement, there's a place of social proof. So, you may not come to be the table now asking for money. I'll give you a very good instance. There was this um, amazing leader of ours in the network marketing industry who had so much content. And I just approached him and like, boss, you should write a book. And I'm busy. I don't have time. Ah, to sit down. Even the wife was like, eh, this guy doesn't sit down. He cannot write one word. And I'm like, but you have the content. Okay, why don't I volunteer to be a ghostwriter for you? I will do all the write-up. You don't even need to write anything. Just send me voice notes. Should we have voice notes on WhatsApp? I will, I will list questions and send to you. Just answer them with voice notes. I got someone to transcribe it. I got someone to even... I, I gave it out to another experienced ghostwriter to develop. And then we produced the workbook. The guy's book has sold almost 1,500 copies. He didn't write one word. But it was his story. Because I asked leading questions. Now, I use that as social proof. That I've been... I don't specifically say because, you know, we have that code of secrecy. You don't go shouting, I wrote this person's book. But I am the book project consultant. So that's what is part of my bio now. The book project consultant was international bestseller. His book became bestseller on Amazon. He has sold copies in Zambia, Cameroon, and he's now planning to translate the book even to French. I did come to the table with, come and pay me to be a ghostwriter. I volunteered to be a ghostwriter. At the end of the day, of course, he told me thank you with something. But it wasn't the, the fee I would have charged. But now, where does tomorrow benefit coming? He has referred me to three other people to work with. Because they know he's a busy guy. And then, guy, how you sit down and write book? See the person that pushed me to write it. That's what he says. And he has linked it to these three people. And of course, I give them my premium bill. And I go home happy. So you can look at it from that aspect. This will be your social proof. This will be a testimony that you know what you're doing. You can actually mentor that business to bloom. And then subsequently, you can have opportunities to monetize I could remember then back in school how I learned a web development. A day by your came to my school, he came to the department and he taught us for free. But at the end of the training, he brought a pack which he started selling and he made money for me. So I went after school, I tried the same approach, but it didn't work for me. So, I want to really know about this uh, volunteerism, monetizing your volunteerism. Now, don't get it twisted. When you see opportunity to volunteer, the first question that should come to your mind is, how can I make this place better, like Boss said? 
How can I improve what I met on ground? What can I do that will make when I leave, they will know that yes, somebody came. It is not a place of how will I make money immediately? No, you're looking for a business venture. That's not what you're telling me.